I'm trying out this camera angle for this video uh, because I want to be able to pace around. So that's what I'm going to do. I have the football on here, if you care. Um, uh, if you're wondering where I'm putting a pen, I assume that'll be come clear soon. Uh, so there's been a rise of there's been a rise lately, and by lately I mean the last couple of years of what I like to refer to as anonymity apps, anonymity social medias, where you basically join a group of people that you know. In my case, a school group or something, and um. You just answer questions, and it's all anonymous, and, um, so the first one I ever noticed was called YOLO, and that you connected it through Snapchat, and people could ask you anonymous questions, you know, great idea, giving high schoolers a way to talk to each other anonymously is probably the worst idea ever conceived. So, you can tell that that app didn't go down great, and eventually, I believe it just, it either stopped being used or it got banned. Because people moved on from... God, that light's so annoying, but it's so... Yeah, it's too dark. <laughs> nope. I can just cut that. I believe either it stopped being used or it got banned. Because people moved on from it. People stopped using YOLO and they started using another app called Sendit, which was basically the exact same thing, but with different templates. You could ask someone a question, you could ask someone who they would date, who they would not, you know, way to ruin people's self-esteem. I have personal history with both of those apps, and in my experiences, they both shit, although that, although that might be the experience I've had using them as a high schooler, being uh, as a queer high schooler nonetheless, being asked questions by, homo by other homophobic high schoolers. God, that was a sentence and a half. Uh, so, the other day, I got this message. I got, this is about, no, this is about a month ago, right? I got a message. It was, it's, it was like, someone from this school sent you a compliment or something along those lines. And like, the school in question, because it lists the school name, the school in question is the school that I went to up until halfway through last year. So that's kind of terrifying. And the URL that's attached to it is, has the name of a guy I knew. In it so already negative a thousand points negative all the points for anonymity so i click on this i download it and it's your average like thing like they ask you questions they give you uh, four people whose names you probably know because this is again this is based in school groups um literally as you sign up it makes you pick your school which is we'll get into that um another football and so I pick my school, I put it in there, I pick the school as my old one because I want to see if it was going down. And um, someone, that means I signed up as like some fake name, right? Because I didn't want it linking back to me. But someone has obviously signed up using my name and my phone number because how else would my name be in there? Because I didn't sign up for it previous to this. Why would I have done that? I had never heard of this app. It's called WF. It's an L app in my books, you know? And then earlier tonight, literally 10 minutes ago, as I'm filming this, I rushed to film this so I could fucking talk about this. I got a message from an app called Flame. Someone at the school I currently go to has raided you. And then it sends you a link. Rated, what does rated mean mean? Is it like the last app? Is it like the W app where you, where someone picked me for a question? Because the questions on W app were like, who's the most popular? And it would give you four questions. And uh, so, like stuff along those lines. So I'm wondering, is it like that? Is it like a number system? Did I get a good grade? I have to download this fucking app now, don't I? So I download the fucking app. And it's essentially... If Tinder was shit. And Tinder is already very shit. So what it is, you put in your age, which is either between 18 to 21, which means we are off to an absolute flyer. <laughs> You're eight, you have to put your age between 18 and 21, which means we're off to an absolute flyer, because I'm 15, and if someone's sending me a compliment, that means someone has signed up under my name and phone number. <sighs> that light is really pissing me off. Never had to stand in front of it. 
Um, I mean, someone signed up under my name and phone number. So I signed up. I put my name as Devin. I put my Instagram handle. Because I asked you for your Instagram handle. But it doesn't make you log into it. So you could literally just put fucking anything in there. But I put a throwaway account that I have. And... Because they didn't want it looking back to me anyway. And I just put the profile picture as this picture of a cat that I had. And I went through it. And it's, yeah, it's essentially a Tinder with shit. So you get pictures of people. You get their name and their age and where they're from. And you get to rate them from 1 to 10 on, like, this fire slider thing. It's a glorified number system is what it is. And so you fucking rate these people. Which means, and but I couldn't find the option to add your school. So I don't know what the fuck's going on there. So how do I, how does it know that? Is it in my contacts? I hope it's not in my contacts. I didn't give you permission to get in my contacts, Flame app. These apps all suck. They are all terrible. Any app that has a generic, like, it, it's either going to be like a blue, like a colorful background with a single emoji on top of it. Avoid those apps at all costs. I am begging you. If its title is in all lowercase, avoid it. I beg you. It is a company that is trying to target Gen Z people who use social media. Please avoid them. They will only do you harm. Use the list of approved social medias. Uh, Twitter, Instagram. Actually, don't use Twitter. That's an approved social media, but fuck Twitter. Avoid Twitter as much as possible. I only use it because I'm addicted. Instagram, and then, like, literally anything that's not these apps. Use fucking, like... Oh, what's an obscure social media? That's kind of shady. Use Giphy before you use one of these apps. I beg. I beg. I'm recording this, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I just really needed to talk about this. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. I just really wanted to rant about this. Good night.